الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هدي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يقول الله تبارك وتعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أعذني الله وإياكم منها عباد الله اتقوا الله وراقبه في السر والنجوى واعلموا أن من اتقى وأصلح فلا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون All praise and all thanks and all credit is due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى هم صيب الله سبحانه وتعالى guides None can misguide and whom so ever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala misguides None can guide except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala him alone Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to shower his mercy and his blessing upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam To my dear brothers and sisters in Islam Inshallah the topic of today basically is about death So we all know, you know, we will, inshallah all of us we will go through that The only guarantee Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us is death. So, you like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't guarantee that you will get money, you will get rich, or like um, you will get um, good spouses. Or So, you have to do research for yourself. Now, you hustle for money and your risk will be there. But the guarantee that all of us know, you rich, you poor, you black you white you blue you yellow so everyone will go through that which is death so now inshallah we just want to talk about you know the accident that happened in in new york city you know you heard about it or you see you saw it or you heard about it so and you know what happened there so subhanallah this is um this is more either or this is um lecture or speech from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is a reminder from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remind us about Akhirah. You know, if you can, you know, if you can be advised from death, so, or to death, so, what else can change your mind? What, what else can bring you close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So if you look at it, this is exactly what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran. So we're gonna, inshallah, recite some verses that speaks about death, inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, كل نفس ذائقة الموت كل نفس ذائقة الموت وإنما توفون أجوركم يوم القيامة فمن زحزح عن النار وأدخل الجنة فقد فاز وما الحياة الدنيا إلا متاع الغرور وما الحياة الدنيا إلا متاع الغرور أينما تكونوا يدرككم الموت ولو كنتم في بروج مشيدة إن الله عنده علم الساعة وينزل الغيث ويعلم ما في الأرحام 
وما تدري نفس ماذا تكسب غدا وما تدري نفس بأي أرض تموت إن الله عليم خبير كل من عليها فان وجاءت سكرة الموت بالحق وجاءت سكرة الموت بالحق ذلك ما كنت منه تحيد ولن يؤخر الله نفسا إذا جاء أجلها والله خبير بما تعملون سبحان الله um, like, what do you think about it you know thinking, thinking about death so will always fix your life will always bring you close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will realize that this dunya is nothing Allah he will run in after this dunya you know, the love that we have for this dunya is too much nowadays, uh, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. So our generation, so, Wallahi, is, there's a lot of fitna out there. So we don't think about death. And also when someone dies, we don't even take a lesson from it. So ask yourself, and the people that witnessed this area, they went, you know, the people that you know, went to the building and see, or like, you know, you heard it, or like you, you saw it in the news. So ask yourself, what did you learn from this? What did you learn from this? So one of the lessons that we will take from this is that this is guaranteed. No matter what happened, you will die. No matter what happened, you will die. So it's, it's, it's all about the time. When your time is up, you will go. So and subhanAllah, and this time, we don't even know about it. It could be now, the next few hours, next few minutes, seconds. So it, right now, you can even go. In blink of eye, so you can go. Subhanallah, you think these people that you know died in this in this fire. So if you were to ask them before they die, one hour before they die, and you tell them you will die in this building in few like few hours or few seconds, you will die in this building. They will say to you, Are you crazy? What are you talking about? And they will never go to that building. But you see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran? Inna al the death that you, you know, you're running away from. These people, they went, they themselves, they went to the, you know, they went to meet Malak al -Maut. You know, they were running to death. So according to resources, like, you know, I, you know, I was not there, but like, you know, according to what people say, the people that were trying to escape, trying to leave the building, trying to run away, they are like, no, most of them die. And the people that remain and stay and tawakkala ala Allah, they say, so it means You're running like you're thinking in your mind, I'm running after you know, I'm running, you know, from death. So I'm running from this fire. So you know, I, you know, the fire will not catch me. I'm running away, I'm going, I'm leaving, I'm escaping. But you don't know that you even going to die. So Akhi Wallahi, this is a miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't know. So imagine like you know, you know that if I if I sit and remain in my place, I will be saved. You will stay there. But you thinking that you're running away from death and it's coming after you. Like you will, you will, like, it's not like you, like you will chase you, but you will meet with death. And subhanAllah, according to resources, like, you know, the, where the, the, the thing happened, like, you know, where the fire, you know, casually like, happened, they're still alive. Nothing happened to them. This is the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that nothing will happen to you in this dunya. No one can harm you. Nothing will happen to you except from Allah. If something happened to you, it's the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, my brother and my sister, think about it. So, wallahi, one day you will be the one that people are talking about. Your, like your pictures, no one, you know, whatever the case may be, people will talk about you. He just died. She just died. So, think about that. It's coming. Let our sooner is coming. Wallahi. So, think about it. And ask yourself, what did you say? Like when these people passed away? Young people are there, old people are there, so don't be fooled with your age. Don't say, you know, I still got time. You know, let me let me just enjoy myself. Wallahi, you don't have time. 
You don't know when, you, when, when you're going to go. You don't know. So with that being said, let us worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, work before you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Worship Allah before you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Know what to do before you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not give you time to be ready. Allah will not give you time to say, okay, let me just, you know, give you like, you know, a few days or a few months or a few years to worship me. When your time is up, you will go. Some people will die car accident, you know, plane crash. Some people will die from like, you know, you see, like from fire. Some people will sleep and they will never wake up again. So death has no specific reason to, to come for you. It's not like when you reach, you will that will you not know, go away from you. Or like when you memorize the Quran, oh, you are the Imam, you are the Mufti. No. No matter what, your position, that doesn't care. You know, you have like, you know, beautiful wife, beautiful family, you're taking care of them. When your time is up, you will go. You know, these people, like some of them, they didn't even sit. You know, they're not doing nothing. Like, you know, they okay, mashallah, tabarakallah. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, this is the way they will die. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept them as shuhada in the law. You know, we make dua for them. So ask yourself, put yourself there. This could be me. So don't think, you know, you are better than these people. No, their time is up, so this is the way they're supposed to die. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took them. So think about this, think about akhirah. You know, we love this dunya so much now when people, even, when people die, we don't even cry. We don't even feel it. You know, we're trying to still you know, chase this dunya. We're still chasing dunya. Someone is dying, someone dead before in front of you. You know, you see them like, you know, they, they gone. They're not here anymore. And you're still posting some haram stuff on social media. We have to be very careful. When you die, the first thing people will do, they will go to your social media and post your pictures. They don't care if it is, you know, halal picture or haram picture. They don't care if you're naked or not. They will still post it. So learn from that. You know, put yourself together. Let this be reason, you know, let this be, you know, the changing, like, you know, starting off your changing, like, change your life. Let this be the changing point for you. You know, let this be, bring you close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Think about it. These people, they were, you know, they were happy, mashallah, tabarakallah. Maybe someone went there to visit his family member or her family member. And he died or she died. Subhanallah. Wallahi akhi, fa innahu mulaqikum. That is after, like, dunya and akhirah, they're very close. You know, you close your eyes, open it, you will see akhirah. It's not like it's far from here. We will see akhirah. So this is one lesson. Think about yourself. You know, learn from it. Like, tell yourself that, okay, this will be me one day. People will talk about me when I'm not here. People will, you know, they will prepare my body. They will take me to the graveyard. So this will be me one day. So think about that. That will help you to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing will last forever. No one will remain in this dunya. All of us will go. You're young. You're handsome. You're beautiful. You're rich. You, you know, you're strong. You have energy. Anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't care. When your time is up, you will go. So remember that. How many young people die in this fight? How many young people? How many young girls? How many young boys? How many strong men? You know, they used to move, walking around, doing, you know, go to work, you know, doing all kind of stuff. But today they can't even move. You can't even recognize some of them. This is Allah. You think this is punishment from Allah? No. It could be punishment for some people. But this is reminder from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remind you, Ibn Adam, O son of Adam, Think about this day. You will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's how we should learn about this. That's number one. Number two, the lesson that we should take from this is that when someone dies, I'm not, don't get me wrong. Right now, if you look at social media, there are so many GoFundMe there. People asking for money, asking for money. It, 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 it is good to, you know, help people, help the family members. But wallahi, these people, they need your dua more than money. Don't get me wrong, you can help, like you can help people. But sometimes, our love for this dunya, some people trying to make money out of, you know, dead people. I will give you proof for that. It's very sad. 
you know everyone talking about money you know i spoke with some people they say wallahi they witness some people like they only talking about money did you even make dua for these people did you even say rahimahumullah may allah have mercy on them did you even make dua for them Akhi, the money is not it's not even matter when it comes to islam to dead people they don't need money when someone die khalas, your money you don't only you don't, like it's not belong to you anymore it will go to people that will like you know the, the inheritance so people will take it your family it's not your money anymore so it's not about it's, it's not all about money 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 make dua for them you know feel sad you know put yourself in put yourself in their position right now these people if you were to wake them up you ask them they will never tell you about money Qala Rabbi rju'uni la'alli a'malu salihan. Oh Allah, bring me back to dunya so I can do some good deeds. Did they say, la'alli attasibu malan? La'alli abni baytan? La'alli ahuj? Oh la'alli, la'alli a'malu salihan. They didn't even talk about this dunya. Oh Allah, bring me back. Just give me one second so I will do a good deed to save me from the hellfire. La'alli a'malu salihan. It's not about money. I know we can donate and you know help these family members. I know we can do that. But the reason why I'm saying this, some people focus on the money too much. And subhanAllah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned something in, 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 in the hadith. When son of Adam dies, what will happen? In kullu illa min All your deeds will become at end, will stop, except three things. And those three things, Allah, uh, the Prophet mentioned, say, Waladu sali yadu A righteous child will make dua for you. So dua is very important. Sometimes, like we don't, we don't, we we thinking dua is is nothing, you know. Wallahi, dua is better than money. When someone die, dua is better than money. I will give you proof for that. And I, I didn't say it. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said it. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam us, make dua for your disease, like because they need it. We should make dua for them. How many go for me out there? And like I said, don't get me wrong, not everyone doing this, but some people, they making money out of that. Not making money for the people, they making money out of that for themselves. Subhanallah, this dunya, we like, we killing each other, we eating each other, alive. You know, I was invited not even invited, like you know, our, one, uh, one of our uh, you know, brothers passed away. This brother passed away. We went to visit, you know, his family. Imagine the body is still there with us. We didn't even wash it. We didn't even take it to the graveyard yet. The body is there. You know, people are crying. This brother, and we sitting there. Some of the family members, some of the brothers, they talking about making money out of this. Brother, out of this dead body, they make they're talking about making money. What how? You know, I heard them saying we can even sell you know his organs to make money out of it. Subhanallah. someone died we still want to make money out of them this dunya all we care about is to harm each other like all we care about this dunya is to benefit from each other i don't care if it is good for you or not even if i can kill you to make money out of that i will do it they're talking about we can sell his organs to make money out of them that's how i'm in islam you can't do that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respect, you know, the son of Adam. وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ Someone died, you know, people are crying. You're talking about money. When some people die, we, we always think about this dunya. We can't even think about akhirah anymore. 
Like that is 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 to remind you about Akhirah. Why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam even ask us to visit the graveyard? It's not for the dead people. It's for you. Because when you visit the graveyard, it will remind you about Akhirah. So that will make you scared and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not about money. We can help the people, but think about make dua for them. And when we try to help, sometimes come min al nasi aradu khairan fa adallu wa adallu. And subhanallah. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, Come muridin lil khair, lan yusibhu. How many people want goodness and they will never get it? Some people like, no, they're thinking doing good is, is based on your ideas. It's not based on our ideas. We follow the sunnah. Now let me break down this hadith for you. I was listening to Uthaymin. I didn't say Uthaymin, I quote. He said, from this hadith, someone asked him, he said, Sheikh, if we recite Quran, the reason why I'm bringing this up, Alhamdulillah, Mashallah, a sister asked me last night, she said to me, brother, we trying to make like, you know, um, recite Quran. We trying to recite the Quran for the people that, you know, died in, 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 in New York City, the fire accident. So we want to recite Quran. Everyone recite a page or juice and tag your name and put it there. So the reward will reach them. This is not Sunnah. I know we, you know, we try to help these people. What mean said in this hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained, he's talking about this that will benefit, you know, a dead person. When you die, when son of, son of, son of Adam dies, like all your deeds will, will be end, stop, khalas, it's over. Except three things. He said, And he said, all this, he said, now we're talking about deeds. And now he said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he knows more than you. He knows what is good for you. He said, if someone would, well, I was surprised by this statement. Like, I know if I tell you, same thing will happen to you. You will be what? You will shut. What? Shut. That's not true. Well, what they mean say, if someone asks you and say, my parents passed away, or my father, or my mother, they passed away, or my relative, or my family member, should I make dua for them? Or do Umrah on behalf of them. He said he will reply, he will tell you to make dua for them. Dua is better than even making Umrah for them. Listen to me carefully. Dua to say Allahumma ghfir lahu, Allahumma ghfir li walidayh is better than you making Umrah for them. Why, Sheikh? He said because of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam didn't mention Umrah in the Hadith. Did he say waladun sali yaqra al Quran lahu, aw yatamir lahu, aw yahujja anhu? He said, the Prophet didn't mention that. You know, I wrote everything here from Uthaymin. He said, the Prophet didn't say that. He said, there's difference between Sunnah, you know, having his Sunnah, there's difference between Sunnah and something that is permissible. When we come to Quran, like you will never find a hadith that the Prophet said, you know, recite Quran for your dead people. No. Even there's hadith when people say, okay, when your, when your people are dying, like, you can recite Quran. He said, لَقِنُوا مَوْتَاكُمْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا That's what he said. So now we're trying to make something good, but we should follow the sunnah. When the sister told me this, I'm like, oh, mashallah, sister, I know you're trying to do something good, but this is not sunnah. She said to me, it is sunnah. Yeah, I mean, then I said, do research about it or ask a scholar. And she said, I ask a scholar, then he said, sunnah. It is sunnah. I'm like, okay, no problem. So I can, you know, I'm not going to, I can't stop you. I will just advise you. So learn about your, your religion, your deen. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, and what I mean, say, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he loves you more than everyone. He loves his ummah. And there's no good things or goodness that he did not tell us to do it. If recitation of the Quran will benefit the mayyid, he will, he will tell us to do it. But we don't recite Quran for them. We make dua for them. Then he says some things happen in the sunnah. Someone came to the Prophet and he said, my mother passed away. Should I give you know, charity on behalf of her? He said, yes. So like, aqarraha. Like when you do something, you ask him, you say, okay, he recommend that. He, he didn't stop you from doing it. And what he mentioned in, in the hadith is stronger than what someone did. And he said, okay, it's okay. He said he mentioned in the hadith to make dua for them, not to recite Quran for them. 
So we don't come together and recite Quran. Or say, okay, let me recite Quran so the blessing, will, the reward will reach him. No. Make dua for them. He said dua. Or you can give charity on behalf of them. So the things that, you know, happened in the Sunnah came, you know, Hadith is explained about, is you can also make fasting, like, if they miss any fasting, like, you know, not voluntary fasting, like, you know, Ramadan. If they miss Ramadan, you can fast that, you can pay that, that you know, on behalf of them. And also you can give charity on behalf of them. You can go to Umrah, you can go to Hajj. But there is no, like, you know, Hadith or the Sahaba said, okay, did you love the Prophet ﷺ? You love your, 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 your family members more than how the Sahaba, they love the Prophet ﷺ. They never came together and said, Let's, let us recite Quran for the disease. No, they don't do that. So we have to know whatever we do in, 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 this, in, in our religion in Islam, we do it according to Sunnah, Quran and Sunnah. So it's not about money. Make dua for them. You know, you can give charity on behalf of them. But an iyaka, iyaka, you're making money out of these people. Someone dies, you know, you're making money from them. Wallahi, yawm al qiyamah, Allah will ask you about that. It's very easy. Religion is easy. Make dua for them. And also, uh, this, this, uh, this is what, number two, like number three, Uthamin gave us advice. I was listening to him like, you know, last night, subhanAllah. He said, like, this, will, this, this thing like should teach you a lesson. Do good deeds before it's late, before you die. So you have to do, like, try to do something that will benefit you even after when you die. You know, have something. You know, build a masjid, a school. You know, help people, like, you know, plant a tree. Like, you know, do something that will benefit you after when you die. But look at our social media, what we're doing there. Will not benefit us, right? And that will harm us when we die. So sisters, I know when you come to social media, it's more of the sisters. Brothers are doing it, but more of the sisters. All this makeup, all this stuff that you do it on social media, wallahi, after when you die, no one can even go to your account and delete it. And after when you die without repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more people watching, the more people you know sharing, the more you're getting sick. We don't want sin. He didn't say when someone died, you know, the Prophet said, he gave us advice that when we die, we can still make reward by having sadaqatun jariyah, non-stop charity, and by having like a, a righteous, you know, child making dua for you. Or like, you know, you, you teach someone, or you have like, you know, your books, someone like, you know, they spread your books, they spread your knowledge. That will benefit you. He gave us advice. So he did not say nothing about sin. So because that will not benefit you. So work now before it's too late. When you die, people don't care about you. Not everyone will make dua for you. When you die, people don't care what you have on social media. They will post it. When you die, some people will even make money out of you. Subhanallah, when you need good deeds, they try to even sell your organs to make money out of it. It's very sad, my brothers. Worship Allah. This dunya is nothing. Wallah is nothing. You know, I know what, subhanAllah, we, not everything, you, you, not everything to show outside there. Like, enjoy in your home, like, you know, appreciate the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but do not cause fitna out there. And think about when you die, how people will talk about you. So when someone die, people will also, people will remember, they will talk about you. So let them talk about you, you know, the, with the good things that, you know, you left behind. Don't let people will, you know, look at your pictures or look at your social media. They will say, Ya Salam, Oh Allah. Like, that's not, that's not cool. That's the reason why we're saying always, you know, think about it before you, you post something. Think about it before you do something. Imagine if someone were to go to that building and steal from someone and you die. The last thing that you attempted to do is committing sin, is to harm someone. You went to that building to, you know, to, to harm somebody and you die. What will you tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Imagine you already harmed them, you already steal their money, you stole it, so now you're trying to escape and you die. Or you go there to visit someone and you guys sit it and back by it and talking about people and you die. What will you tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because that sin is not between you and Allah, it's between you and a creation. A son of Adam. And Yawm al Qiyamah, no one can forgive you there. So think about it. Take lesson from this. Learn from this. This can be you, it can be me. 
all of us can die in a blink of eye. So we, right now I'm talking to you guys, halas, I can go. So love this dunya, how you supposed to love it? Just like the Sahaba. We are travelers. We're here to work. It's a place to gain so many good deeds and the benefit, the result will speak for itself when we go to Akhirah. So again, make dua for them. Dua for the mayit, for the person that died, is better than making Umrah and Hajj for them. Dua. I know this may sound like, you know, stupid to you, but dua, they need your dua. What did Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say? Say, make dua for your, you know, for your brothers. Because they were, they, they, they're going to ask them in the grave. So make dua for them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them all the answers. He didn't say, you know, give them money. And imagine, when someone dies, we will drop them to the graveyard. Your family members will be there. People will drop you. People, people you know, will, will go with you. And also your good deeds and your wealth. But guess what? The people and your money will come back. What will remain there? The good deeds. So all they need from you is dua. Also, you can help the family members. But put that in your mind. It's not, it's not all about money. And also, you should now recite Quran for them. Do what is the sunnah. You know, sometimes we're thinking great things will bring you, you know, like, you know, blessing or reward. Because even the sister says, so mashallah, recite the Quran. I know reciting the Quran is good. Can we recite Quran in, in our sujood? No, we can't do that. It's haram to recite Quran in your sujood. Let me say it's haram, like, but it's not a sunnah. We can't recite Quran in our sujood. What we do, what we do, we make dua in our sujood. We don't recite Quran in our sujood. Recite of the Quran is good. If someone recites Quran, like you go to sujood, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. If you tell them haram, you say, oh, Shaykh, this is Quran. I know it's Quran. But like, you know, everything has like, you know, time and where to do it and how to do it. Religion is not about what you think. It's about what you know. You know the message bring the message. Yeah, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's about what he you know he told us to do. It's not about you. The religion is, doesn't go with your ideas. وَمَا كَانَ لِمُؤْمِنٍ وَلَا مُؤْمِنٍ إِذَا قَدَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ أَمْرًا أَيْ يَكُونَ لَهُمُ الْخِيَرَةُ أَيْ يَكُونَ لَهُمُ الْخِيَرَةُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ Words are coming out of my, my, my mouth. It's very like. I'm, emotional right now but we have to know that make dua for them they need dua more than even your money they need dua more than you recite the quran for them he did not say recite the quran for them in the hadith go and listen to shaykh uthamid listen to the ulama listen to the scholars we don't recite the quran on behalf of them even shaykh al-bani explained mashallah a beautiful thing about you know this hadith he said you have like your parents, you know, they, they, you know, mashallah, they raise you in a, in a, in a, mashallah, in a beautiful way. You know, they help you to memorize the Quran. They pay school fees for like, you know, you memorize the Quran. When you recite that Quran, it will reach your parents because I'm like, they are the reason why you even memorize that Quran. They took care of you. They, they did everything for you in this case. But like, you know, we come together or you there or I'm there. Okay, let me recite this juzu on behalf of my brother. So that's not a sunnah. Don't think, okay, it's Quran. If I recite, yes, it's Quran. Make dua for them. You don't know more than the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they say, Wallahi, Imam Malik say, like, um, whoever say the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, like, man ibtada'a fi al-deen, faqad za'ama anna Muhammad qad khana al-risala. Or the way, the way he said it, like, something like that. If you think, like, or, or if you think you're doing something that is not from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he didn't recommend you to, to do it. You do it out of your, your, your own idea, your own thinking. And you telling yourself, this is sunnah. You believe in this is sunnah. I have to do it. It's like you're saying, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa betrayed Allah. He did not complete the message. He did not say everything. That's the meaning of that. If you don't know your deen, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ I may be hard, but like, you know, I'm just saying out of love. Wallahi, I love you all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'm asking Allah to not say a single word here, something that is not from the Quran and the Sunnah. If I say, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me, we all make mistakes. But learn about your religion. Do the right thing. 
when people die, learn from it. One day it could be you, you know. And this could be you, like you know what happened to them right now. Like I said, if you were asked them before they die, hey, you're gonna die in this building. Fire will happen to you. You will die. They will say, are you crazy? What are you talking about? Yet the bhakta, you will come like suddenly, like you, like you never, you you will never expect death. Some people will die in car accident. Some people will die like you know, from their sleep. Some will die in the hospital. You will lucky like if you're sick, you go to the hospital and the doctor say you're not gonna make it. Now you know. At least maybe you will make it because like the doctor say like, you're not gonna make it. Oh no, Allah alam. But at least when you seek, you telling yourself, Oh mashallah, I'm close to Allah. So you making dua, you recite in the Quran. So Uthamin Shay say, read, recite Quran. Do so many good deeds for yourself before you die. Because if you die, wallahi, like I said, some people will try to make money out of you. Like I said, this brother, you know, he died. So we're sitting there, we're trying to, like, you know, the family, people are crying. You know, we're making dua. Some brothers sitting on the corner, they're talking about selling his orders to make money out of him. Aina rahma, where's the mercy? karramna bani adam. Like you want this person, person to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with half of like, you know, his organs is gone. Subhanallah, like this is the, this is how much we love dunya. Even after when someone died, the mercy is not there. We don't cry, we don't share like tears, like we don't do nothing. Dunya, 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 dunya. Wa ma adraka ma dunya. Mata'ul ghurur is nothing. Whatever you have, this dunya, you will leave it here. When you die, we will not, we will not take even like pain with you. I remember, like you know, the Imam said it last Friday. He said some people, like when when their, their family members die, they will bury them with money. I told him, I'm an Imam, if you see anywhere they bury someone with money, please let me know. I will go and take that money because they don't like they're wasting the money. I will take it. Someone die, you put money in their grave, like you know, you say, okay, go with it, and give it to Angel Jibri. I'm here, my brother. Just give it to me. If you don't know what to do with that money, I know what to do with it. So it's not about money. It's not about like, you know, what do you think? Recite Quran, make dua for them. That's what the Prophet said. And we should just, you know, do what the Sunnah recommend. Let's do that. Make uh, Umrah for them. Make, make Hajj for them if you can. And also even before you make Hajj for them, listen to this play. Before you make Hajj for them, you should make Hajj for yourself. Make Hajj for yourself first. Even if your parents, they die, you can't make Hajj for them without making Hajj for yourself. You have to make Hajj for yourself first before you make Hajj for. And I know Thamin say he will advise people don't don't do all your good like all your work for the dead people like you know do it for yourself because of when you die you will need it. And sometimes like you know we visit you know, we think when we visit the graveyard is for the it's for the dead people it's for yourself. The reason because of like he said the hukmu and the illa. كنت قد نهيتكم عن زيارة القبور فزوروها فإنها تذكركم الموت. You know, I stop you from visiting the graveyard. Now you can visit it because of when you go there, it will make you, it will remind you about Akhirah. So not for the dead people, it's for you. So when someone die, when something something like this happen, we should learn from it that one day you will die. One day they will take you out, you know, from your home and take you to the graveyard. Nothing can help you there except your good deeds. So take note. If you love this dunya, take it easy, my brother. Time will come. My sister, take it easy. Fix your hijab. Take your hijab with you. I know we're not perfect. We commit sin. Everyone commits sin. But the difference is how we commit sin. And also, people will commit sin. They fear Allah. They will repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَعَشْرَوا ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهَ some people they commit sin, they still proud of their sin. Inna Allah la yubul, la yubul Allahu al-jahra bissu. You commit sin, you still proud of your sin, and you show it everybody. Something wrong with your iman. Fix it. May Allah subhanahu wa taala grant us good ending. May Allah subhanahu wa taala accept the mashhada. May Allah subhanahu wa taala, you know, grant us the kalima to shahada before we die. May Allah subhanahu wa taala grant us good understanding about Islam. Whatever we do, sister, brother, don't just don't just jump and do something. If you don't know about it, you know, ask people before you do. Ask the ulama, the scholars. Fasalu ala dhikrin kuntum la taalamun. Ask them before you do anything because of like you know our deen is based on dalil, Quran and Sunnah. It's not based on. Opinion. 
opinion of people like you know except like you no know, ulama scholars that you know they can do much tahid you know they explain something like the sahaba like, and even the sister told me he said like you know you know well it's not everything that Prophet Muhammad didn't do we can do it he didn't do tarawih I'm like okay if they didn't do tarawih but the sahaba they did it so but tell me which sahaba or where the Prophet Muhammad said okay you can recite Quran on behalf of your dead people like no he didn't say that so Uthamin said what we have in the hadith you know we just take that and talk about Allah. What you you heard from first Allah, do it. And something that you don't hear from first Allah, you don't have like clear proof of it. Don't do it. Stop it there. And when someone trying to teach you, and you know these people are like, what they're trying to tell you is the right thing, please take it, take it because I'm like, you know, they love you for the sake of Allah. That's the reason why they're giving you clear and clean and pure message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. Anything that I said was good from Allah, it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything that I said was bad, it is from myself and Shaytan. فإنه رجيم هذا والله تعالى أعلى وأعلم وصلى الله وسلم وبارك وعندما عبدك رسولك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين